was able to put his family first and do something that he loved. Friends and family remember a father lost. Tonight we're hearing from the family of a man killed while riding his bicycle to work this morning. 44-year-old Joseph Holen of Georgetown was on the southbound frontage road of I-35 in Round Rock. A car changing lanes ran into him. KXAN's Angie Bevan has the story. Two wheels have taken Joseph Holen through many stages of his life. Biking just became a part of who he was. I mean, he's very... Um, very passionate about it. It was, he loved to do it. It was, you know, it was his thing. The husband and father of four rode his bike from Georgetown to North Austin for work every day, nearly 20 miles each way. Part of that was the sacrifice for his family. They had one vehicle so that, you know, um, his wife could stay home with the kids. Tuesday morning, he took his last trip. Joseph Holen got hit by a car. You might remember Joe. You basically just take it day by day. Um, knowing that the sun will come up tomorrow. Two years ago, he appeared in a KXAN story. In this growing family, there existed a love of the outdoors and riding around in it on bicycles. Joe had just lost a job. He turned to his bike. Tolan is experimenting with his own advertising business. To try and make some money. I had an old TV box. It was really colorful, and I figured that'll look good on my bike. <laughs> And I just cut it out and strapped it on there with some cable ties. The drive to work hard. You can't get down. Um, you can't give up. Joe uh, was back in a job. Things were good. He was at his, you know, been his job, at, you know, well over a year. You know, the kids are growing up. He's got his oldest daughter's a senior, getting ready to go to college. The family comes to terms. They all remember what Joe loved best. He was able to put his family first and do something that he loved. Uh, you know, and and you know, he was doing one of his one of his favorite things. This morning. In Georgetown, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. Our sincere condolences to the Holand family tonight. Round Rock police say this morning's accident happened in a dark area of the road. The driver of the car told police he just didn't see Holand on his bicycle, but Mr. Holand was wearing a helmet and a reflective vest.